preschoolers, Miss Matson here, and we are going to do a really cool story today using our TV at our preschool center and a puppet that uh, was made for me by my very special friend, Mrs. Erickson, who is not the Miss Erickson we have at school, but um, her name was Michelle, and she was a dear friend of mine, and she made this puppet for our preschoolers. And so the story today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Yeah, and so we're gonna listen to the story, and I'm gonna use my puppet to tell the story, and there's some activities in your packets this time about The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Uh, projects, snacks you can make, a craft project, you can make your very own caterpillar, which I'll show you in another video um, that I'll give you a link for. So let's begin and let the story begin called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and oh, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Got any food in there? That was a delicious apple. But he was still hungry. Hmm. You got any more food in there? On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. But I'm still hungry. Still want some more food. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. I love strawberries. Still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. 
But he was still hungry. He's too hungry after those oranges. That's a lot of oranges. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop. One piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he oh. had a stomach ache. Oh, boys and girls, don't eat that. That's a lot of food. I don't feel very good. What should I do? Do you know what I can eat? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate the one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt <gasps> much better. Well, that's what caterpillars are supposed now, to eat. Leaves! He wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat <gasps> caterpillar. How did I get so fat? How did I get so fat? Do you know? Oh. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. I hope you love the story about the very hungry caterpillar and you can watch it over and over and I want you to find your packets and find all the different things you can do with that story and I had so much fun telling that story with my video and my very special very hungry caterpillar puppet. I miss you guys so much. Have a wonderful spring day and we will see each other very soon. Love you.